Hey guys, this is not an it's nighttime update video. It's just a normal update video for the channel itself. Mainly because uh, I am moving next month. I'm moving cross country from the east coast to the west coast next month. I am finally going to be uh, moving in with my, well I can now say, fully say it, my fiance, Rosenthorn. Uh, which some of you already know him from him being in a couple of my videos. I go on his Twitch for our Rosa Nights Let's Play a game. He has his own Twitch, which I've linked like those in, always in the description whenever I talk about it. But I'll link his, his Twitch and Twitter on the description below. It's been a long journey coming. I've been working hard on this for the last few years and it is finally happening. But I know what you're thinking. Casey, what does that mean for this channel? Are you still going to do videos and reviews? Yes, of course I am. Why wouldn't I? Yes, I know YouTube algorithm freaking sucks hell like crazy. And I know it's been having so many of the issues that a few people have had decided to leave YouTube, especially a couple of my own close friends because YouTube does not want to change the stupid algorithm and keeping so much danger but I will still post videos on here as best I can because I'm doing these videos just for fun and I want to just know that even if it's just a small thing I want to show you guys things that I from my childhood that I love and see if you remember I'm getting into nice conversations I still love enjoying making videos but it means that videos might be like small bit for how they were released I still have a bunch of vlogs to re release and I'm also working on the Miss Nightmare Review sing-along uh, which is of course yeah it's another Disney sing-along you'll find out when it gets to it and I've just been working hard I've been, been working on a crossover that I've been very excited to do for the last few years uh, it, and I'm very excited for that it's I don't know when that'll happen but I am so excited because it's just, I'm happy. But it means that video content, like getting reviews and stuff, will shorten a bit because I'm going to be in the process of moving. I'm putting my hand on my desktop that's off screen because my desktop will have to be shipped. So there will be only a little point that I'll be without my desktop. But once I get it, hopefully I'll get everything set up for editing videos. It's not going to be frequent because I'm going to be on a different time zone. So that's going to screw me up when I know for sleeping. Videos will come out like specific standard time now instead of Easter standard time like they've always been and I know for most some of my viewers you're on the east coast but I know I have other viewers on different time zones and around the world so do not worry I'll try my best to continue videos but you can always see, know that I post videos on my patreon ahead of time so if you are worried you're not going to see the video when it comes out you can still subscribe and be a part of my patreon I meant don't if you want to donate to my patreon Patreon is not that kids subscribe to like YouTube. Okay, kinda, but you have support the uh, creator, but... I will still continue to do videos. I will still have my art commissions. I'm actually wrapping up a art commission, so... I will still be doing that. I know that I'll basically just do sketches, and by the time I get move out, I may not be about the computer to do the anything digitally, but I'll still sketch as much commissions as I can. It's just a lot. There's a lot of things that are going to be happening uh, for this move and I finally get to experience doing some things with my friends and my fiance out there that I have been uh, a little bit sad I'm not able to and hopefully I'm going to be able to do a lot of things when they get out there especially because I have like not only my friends in, El in California I have friends on that side that I have not seen in a while and I cannot wait to see them and hopefully get to do some fun stuff but speaking of that storyline yeah uh i need to mention my storyline how this is this is going to affect my storyline completely i had already anticipated on the move and i actually have wrote part of a moving short this is actually going to be a uh, Storyline sort of explains where what my move and also uh, 
a few other circumstances involved with it. I have already filmed a Mr. Nightmare short that deals with storyline stuff. I am still waiting on footage from one of my friends on that because this is something that's very crucial I need for this storyline. But I'm waiting on them. They're busy with their own life and I'm in no rush for that. Though I know for the storyline aimed for uh, Miss Nightmare Short, I already have written. I have no time to be able to film that. It's either storyline or the crossover. I have also so was going to film a, the Kiki's Delivery Service review, but I realized I had no time. I had not even started on the script. I have some notes, but I don't have my notes. I have just production notes. So unfortunately, the Kiki's Delivery Service will be the first video uh, filmed in the new moving space along with not only the moving short, but the another storyline short that originally was written for here will go in there. And I actually have ideas in my head how I'm going to have the moving short go into the storyline short I already have written. So that's going to be a lot of fun to do. And also means that, yeah, Rosen, my fiancé, will be added to the storyline cast and also from Star Reviews only when I feel like I know what would be funny to have him in. So you will be seeing Rosen pop in from time to time because I'm, I'm living with him. He's my fiance. So that's going to be a fun thing. Yay. Along with that, I have storyline stuff planned where I actually need to visit a friend of mine. I have no clue when that is going to be because I need to situate my move uh, next month. And I just need to talk with Rosen about our trip to see our friend to do that because there's going to be a lot of technical things. I not only want to film storyline stuff, I have an idea for a short to pretty much make a full like end closure uh, for my friend. I'm not saying which friend because I want to keep this very secret because it's just how I roll with it and also because I just have so many ideas that go in my head and it's not just because I've been watching A Voice in the Dark because yes I have been watching that. I will hopefully We'll do storyline stuff. It season the two storylines just started beginning this year. Finally, it don't know when it'll end. Mainly because I have the idea for the third storyline, and once the third storyline ends, I won't end Miss Night Rare reviews. I may not do storyline for a while because I've done like the MOD storyline, the Escape from Monster High uh, storyline, the current Miss Fortune storyline, and the third storyline I have in mind. I might do like short storyline bits here in between after season three but I want to see how far I can grow with this uh, channel and with my videos like seriously the last I looked I'm at like 161 for subscribers and you guys are all amazing and I feel very appreciated that you guys love the videos and continue the support in this little channel and I hope I just help brighten your day up that's what I want to try to do it's gonna also feel weird that being my normal film setup once I move next month because I, I finally got to a chance where I can have a normal film setup which you'll see in the next video and in the crossover I need to film but besides that I have it where I it's fun I'm actually feeling, getting a little bit better uh, standing in front of something instead of sitting down but it's going to be completely different once I move and it's going to be something amazing and I hope you all will continue on this journey with me. It's something going to be amazing. It's also hard for me with this because this room that I'm standing in was the room where I started this whole show. I started the idea of doing videos and I started going through it. You were all with me when I originally had a red wall for some of you who knew I had a red wall in early times you were with me when the wall went purple and everything shifted in this room you've been with me and seen storyline stuff and seen my ways of trying to film uh my videos as i kept going over time you were there with me with a terrible desk that made a bunch of noise and you've all been with me and seen so much and i thank you all for watching this here in this room this I'm trying hard not to cry. It's just, it's hard to sink in. And I am just <laughs> excited and nervous at this move. But I, it's gonna be weird that I'm gonna miss this little place. It's where I started everything seven years ago for my show, and I hope.
hope to continue seven years in a place that is going to be amazing. Anyway, that's all the information I have in this video. I already have like a bunch of vlogs. I'm working on as I mentioned earlier, but if you want to help support the show and help support my uh, my move, you can become a patron today at patreon.com slash nightmare productions where you get some awesome videos ahead of time. The first 12 pages of my webcomic of Monster Homebrew, which are up, I will hopefully get more pages like digitally inked and colored so I can put on there and maybe try and get work on the website. I really need help with that website thing. Ugh. You can also uh, see the scripts and title cards and you can even request uh, something for me to review at a future, uh, not future, a higher tier if you want to. Or if you're not going to be any of those, you can also be credited as a Patreon producer, like these lucky patrons over here, such as Dodger Zian, Holly Redpan Smith, Wes Morgan, and Kitty Q. You guys are still amazing and sweet, and I want to give you all a hug. If you want to also support me, if you can't do Patreon, I do have a T Public shop in the description below, where T Public likes doing a bunch of crazy sales, and I do earn some money from each of my merch from my shop that is sold. You can also uh, follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram. Twitter is uh, where I do some updates uh, for videos and everything else. And also my art commissions. Uh, Priceless is on there as well. And you can also follow me on Instagram where I like to post some like pieces of art sketches, my Instagram stories, my cooking as I've been learning how to cook. And it's just a lot. And Abby fell. That's all I have to tell you for today's video. Normal videos of It's Night Time and a few Dreams Night Reviews will continue. So I hope you all enjoyed this little update. And also, YouTube is screwed up for the subscriber thing where you now have a... If you click on the bell icon, you can now be notified of which person you want to see videos from. Like, make sure that you su hit subscribe, click the bell icon, and make sure you click notify uh, the part where you s see my videos in your subscriptions now. So if you're not seeing them, but you did see, have it, see this, change that because YouTube's algorithm, again, sucks. Now I'm going to say goodbye. Till next time, guys. Bye.